Hi everyone, I'm Lefin. Today we're going to be playing co Col Col Colot? Colot? Okay, it's probably Colot. So anyhow, it's a game that I had bought last summer on Steam and I just totally forgot that I had it in my library. So hey, new horror game for us because apparently it's a horror game. It's apparently inspired on something, but I don't do a lot, a lot of this game. I remember seeing the trailer like a year ago, so I don't remember it. Uh, I remember like a room stretching like farther as you get moving inside, but that's the only thing that I remember. And the fact that uh, someone played it, I saw it, the description said that it was apparently inspired of, off of something that really happened in Russia or something like that. So anyhow, let's not... The, le, 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 let's stop the piano and get into Colot. So I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. I only think that it might be horror or scary scary school, but I have no idea what I'm getting 56 myself into. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. Kolat! Okay, I get it. It was their last stop. Oh, chefs. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On so February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. Okay, so if you were wondering if it was true, Google that shit, I'm pretty sure it happened. So, are we like going back into the past to see what happened to these students? Or, um... Or are we on a rescue team going there? Like, or are we in the future wondering what the heck happened? So, hey, hello, by the way, I put a little dot in the middle of the screen so you know where to that screen is but oh. oh oh you have a lady singing me to sleep and the ambiance just faded dude it's not even five minutes and I'm already getting like good chills my good golly gosh I think I'm going to like this unlike unless it like abruptly stops to like hit me in the face with a bat full of nails and skittles um hey uh
So why am I exactly going away from the train? Why am I going this way? And why am I alone anyway? We're not supposed to be nine students. Okay, it's just, just by the fact that I am alone at the moment. I assume that I'm not one of the students. Ooh, look at those trees having a seizure. <laughs> so, okay, but what is my goal here? That music surprised me at first, like it's much better than I expected, but still, damn. Oh, okay, I have to go around, I get ya. Oh, 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 I see. It's starting to snow heavier and heavier, so I probably have a few moments to... Oh, well, fuck you, then! Okay, then, I'll go around! I'm sorry, I just dropped an F-bomb there, but screw you, then! Okay, fine, you know, where do we go? Towards civilization or towards death? <laughs> towards death sounds like a good idea. I really just want to stay silent and listen to the music. I like little soft voice singing me to sleep like that. Oh, hey, suddenly... Yes, yeah, suddenly... It's fading away in the background to something more ominous. Did I just see Slenderman? I feel like that could be a thing. Suddenly Slenderman appear all out of nothing. I'm trying to... Yep, the voice is far away now. Did I just hear a crack? Oh, suddenly violence. Suddenly violence, like the instrument that plugs up everything these days. You want epicness? Insert a violin. Oh, is it this way? Mm, this huge creepy forest, that's us. Are you coming to me? Oh. I think I am coming to you. I see footprints. The footprints are fading, but... Uh-oh, the music is fading. Something bad is about to happen, something bad is about to happen, something bad is about to happen, something bad, 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 I sure am glad to- ah! Well, I fell! But I fell where?! In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. I barely hear you. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. Who are you, narrator? Oh, hello, you. Oh, the tent! Is it ripped out yet? Okay, I'm going into the story of this. Press A. Oh, I see. I am right behind you. Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Okay, so here, I get a map and a compass. Whew. I got scared by a fall. Yay. Whew. Don't run all the time. Let your character rest. I can run? I wasn't even aware of that. Holy damn. So, yeah, yeah, it's, um... So there's definitely a mystery to solve here. Hold on, let me get, like, a sip of Perrier. Ah, so there is definitely a mystery going on here, but what? What got the students to flee that tent? And it's a tent with only two beds. There's not enough place for that nine. But act two, holy damn, it went fast. Tried to hold on to your humanity. Yes, but I do that every day. You have been no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment, and you could really not remember your sins, when they took away your loved ones. Leaving you to rot in the dark. Oh. The problem is, it's in their darkness. You have never been alone. Ooh. 
what's with this thing? This theme of like red. So okay, can I grab more items from there? Okay. Is that me? Yeah, okay, that's me. Oh, press down for survival info. Okay, I get you. Running in deep snow is tiring. Adjust the pace of surrounding conditions so don't exhaust your organism. For Set a go for a longer journey, rest in the camp and set a goal for a safe route. You can focus LT on any object to take a better look at it. Lighting your way with a flashlight and X will become more visible. Observe the environment carefully. interesting places and shortcut. I can access them and you will sometimes need to screen to. Okay, so is that open world then? Oh shit, now I. It's okay, I can focus like so. I can find the compass like so. How do I open the well? There you go. That's how I open the map. Oh, okay, I get it. I can move while I'm staring at the map. So my camp is there. So I want to go. So this is north, and oh damn, I'm so going to get lost. Like spatial awareness is not something that I'm good at. Okay, you know what? Screw the compass. But y you know what? I want to take a little detour around to see what happens here. Oh. And the steps will guide me anyway. What is going on here? Okay. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall, and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters, and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Oh great, thank you for telling me that everything we're going through here is unnatural. Okay. What the shit? What? No! 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 The heck? What the shit? What? Okay. <laughs> Whatever the heck happened here? It's okay. I think we can realize there's something very unnatural happening here. So where am I going already? Uh, oh, okay, okay, I get it. And uh, where is north on this stupid compass? Like you're holding it sideways, so okay, is this north? The symbols on the compass are, are like, damn, I need to, I, I need to know how to. Uh, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a huge dumb dumb. So, as we find camps, I suppose I will find out where I was going and understand better how to maneuver. So, okay, we're having wind in our face and there seems to be a lot of articles and story to be told about this. And we have a large world to go through, so I'm already thinking we're going to make them like maybe 30 minutes long episode. Then again, I don't know how long the game would be, so... Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so apparently I can run, but how? I don't know. I can... Uh, yeah, but 
how to... Oh, okay, I just... Aha, okay, I get it. So a character can get tired somehow, apparently. There's some light over here, so we're going to go there and hope that there's another camp that we can sleep in. It's not deep snow, I think I can sprint for a little bit. But then again, if I'm too tired to escape from the monster or the uh, supernatural phenomenon that are going on here, then won't have a... What is this? S something else is going on here. I'm pretty sure. So we'll just slowly but surely make our way over there. I think there's a wall around here that I can go through. So what is the scariness that I'm looking for? Do I have anything running after me like a monstrum? Do I have a monster in the forest that's running after me and I just have to go into the place where he will not? What am I hearing? It's like a paper being shuffled by the wind. Oh well hey, it was a paper being shuffled by the wind. Okay, mysterious lights above the spawning cosmodrome, mysterious events in the sky were noted during the night sky at to the uh, 4 or 5 July. Witness testified that blah, 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 blah. it is impossible for any flying object to move, or uh, we know to move like that. Okay, so there's something in the sky that does things. Okay, but I want to go this way. So basically, if there is an article around here, I can already. I already know that I'll have to. Yep. But I should see this thing on the map. It's okay, it is somewhere. I have a way to get to it. I just need to find it. Maybe it's this way? Maybe it's that away. Then again, I just went through here. So let's just go further this way. Damn, I am so lost, you guys. Like, don't give me a compass that I don't know how to read and then send me my way. I will just get lost even harder. Now, is there a monster waiting behind a tree? I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. I have no freaking inking clue. What about this? Nope, there is nothing. Can my character get too cold and die now? I have no clue what I'm doing. And is it going to be nighttime all along the game? Oh, hey, we're going back to this place again. So I'm guessing we just went in circle. So find another camp, please. Oh, I like to find another camp because I assume camps are like safe points. I have no clue what I'm looking for. Oh, hey, suddenly a bridge. A bridge over, not a lot of stuff. But oh well, it's here and we're gonna cross it. How much you want to bet that it's going to break? Yes? 27 and 52. Northeast. Oh! Are you telling me where I am on the map? Uh, what, what does it say over here? 27 and 52. Uh, 27 and 52. I'm all the way down there? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. 27 and 52. Okay, so here I am. Okay, I get you. But we're not going in the right way then. So we'll just go around and back to camp because we're already out of time. I'm not too sure what is supposed to scare me in this. Yet. Oh hey, suddenly instruments. You know, the first... The, the, the first few seconds of the game were pretty gripping because of the, the music in the background and the story. So it seemed really mysterious, but then the game just throws you over there and there. Good luck, asshole. So what do I do with it? Oh, wait. I hear a paper. I hear paper somewhere. Is it up here? Oh, I think it's up here. But I can't go up here yet. 
Damn, I'm so lost. We're already at the 20 minutes mark and I can't find a camp to say to, 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 to end it at. So I'm guessing I'll just do them like 15, like 30 minutes episode. Or 20-ish thing. This is a dead end over there. Where do I go? I am lost out of my mind. Not like I can climb anything either. And I hear a paper fluttering in the wind, but I don't see it. Oh damn it, I thought you were a shadow of someone. You were just a rock. You're a rock and you do not deserve my attention in life. Okay, I can't climb over here. I am so damn lost. Maybe I was meant to turn left instead of right. Okay, yeah, there's a way over here. So we go over here. Uh, we're so close to falling down, actually. Damn it, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. And I keep hearing freaking papers fluttering in the wind, but I don't see any shite that could lead me to them. I see landmarks, though. I see a lot of stuff, but oh well. Oh hey, paper. We are sitting in room number twenty-three. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it! Where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully and it's snowing outside. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a note left by the students, so... Oh no, I have to... Okay, it's alright, it's alright. So long as I hog the rope, I'm fine. There you go. Oh, is that a comp? Do I see a comp? And why would the paper be over there? Oh, here, another paper fluttering in the wind. Let's get down here. Damn, you must hog the, the, the area so damn much to... Oh, that's great. I can't make it over there. I will fall. It's not like your character your character cannot jump, by the way, so don't expect me to do that, so. Okay, but where do I go with this? Then again, I'm pretty sure I can't climb up there, so might as well try. So might as well try. Uh, oh well, holy shats, I actually made it. Oh, so it works. It's a close city. I found royal located fishing ground. Okay, well, nothing that I deem important, but at least I can cross over this here way. But what is supposed to scare me over here? I get the feeling that something should be after me. I get the feeling that I'm looking for a phenomenon, and I'm just seeing deadly dick. And I'm not finding a damn camp to actually end this on either, so... So, okay, where exactly... Oh, do I see something over here? Yeah, I think I do. Well, no, it's a rock. Never mind. Oh, Liffy, you're scared of rocks. Oh, am I going down into a cave again? Yes, I am. Well, it's a good place to get rid of the s to, 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 to take shelter from the snow, at least. Let's just keep the flashlight out. Holy shit, I hear something whisper. Push through, push through, push through, push through, push through, push through, push through. Push through, push through. Push through, push through. Push through, push through. Oh, damn. There is nothing in my back. Okay, it's alright. 
I thought a little cave would be in a reprieve from all the snow that I'm getting into my face. But well, 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 lo looks like that's not the case. Chosen you? What? Just like me. But you are losing your mind, my friend. Am I? You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. Well, there's you. At the bottom. I am the only one waiting for you. So basically, when I go batshit crazy, you will be there to welcome me. Welcome to the Batshit Crazy Club. Uh, I sure am looking forward to this. So, okay, is that the moonlight over there or is that the light of something else that I don't care about? Back there again? I'm going back there again? Well, then again, there's a red thing in the sky over here. Might as well make my way over to it. Then I'll maybe find something. I'm starting to say to think that with nothing happening in here, this will be a perfect um, game to have playing in the background. But this is interesting though, but there is like nothing happening. Right now at least there is nothing happening. So I need to climb up the mountain. So this cave that I was dreading, again, I'm gonna have to go through it. Is there anything in it? Is there like an Indiana Jones big boulder that's going to roll into my face? And I need to like run to not get hit by? Oh there, suddenly more snow in my face. Yay, well then again, it's Russia and it's in the winter. What do you expect? Oh, is that a paper? And it's not a paper. It's just a bunch of wind and bad decisions in life. Do I get a camp yet? Do I get a camp? Oh, it's getting blacker. Oh no. Oh no. Something will happen. Something will happen. Something will happen. By right, real damn soon. Or am I just too exhausted? Or am I just exhausted and I'm about to die? What is this? This is strangely colored. There must be a reason why this thing is still colored and everything went black. Oh. Is that a paper or is that a fire? Ah, oh, damn it. I think it's a paper. I need one stupid camp so I can... Oh, okay. I get it. I think... No, the moon is still there. Well, I'm finding papers, but... What I really want to find is a camp, damn it. Uh, here, pause it and read it. I'll read it later as well because we're running out of time. Can I sleep here? How does one sleep anyhow? Hold on, hold on a sec. Okay, I thought it was maybe a control that I'm missing. Oh, hey, colors are coming back suddenly. And the red thing is over there. So I'm... Oh, hello you. Oh, remains. Damn it, I'll have to split it into two now. I mean, like, I can't save... Oh, building. There's suddenly a building. Oh, and a ghost. Hello, ghost. How are you? Well, you're done. Oh, you're over there. You ran. You guys ran to the church. Okay, that's good. I still wonder what I am. Am I still on the expedition? Am I a guy that came way later? Or what am I? Who am I? And what am I doing here? And why is it suddenly foggy? something moving here are you a bad guy well you left so what about your trail brother what if I follow where you were going did I scare you were you meant to scare me oh hello you how are you 
What? Well, looks like that was supposed to scare me, apparently. Okay, so I'm not supposed to... Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. The black ones are bad ones. The orange ones are good. So we go, we'll try to piece this together. Let, let me just see, where do I continue? Do I start back from the very first freaking camp that I found? Using the fast travel in camp saves the game progress. Okay. I just need to find a camp, is all. Oh, so is this a camp? Okay, so... Hold on a sec, let me just confirm that in... Uh, I was over here, when I found the paper. And then... Uh, I crossed the bridge, and then went left. And continued into a cave, and blah 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 blah. I thought I would be here-ish, but apparently I'm not here-ish. This is where I started, I found papers here, and here. Where the heck am I? I don't understand, where the heck am I? I don't understand, I'm confused here, where the heck am I? Oh well, this is where I start, so basically we got a save point there, so we'll just catch up to where we were by that. So we'll do the 30 minutes because it seems like I have a lot of roaming to do. So it's a good idea to maybe run this in the background while you're doing your stuff. I'm just going to, like, distract you from everything. But anyhow, it's done, so thanks everyone so much for tuning in and we'll be back with some more. See ya!